A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this particular session, I'm going to be answering questions of some people through the cards that people ask me this question. Why am I being ignored? Why am I being ignored? Okay. So I'm not looking for any sort of uh, magical answer in this, but I just want a very genuine answer. So let me ask spirit guides and we'll all pray to spirit guides for protection and for helping us out, for giving us the best solution. So let's see why you are getting ignored as per what tarot has to say. And this is a collective reading. So this will only apply to those who are going through this phase or who have this question or this doubt. In case this is not for you, then you can, <laughs> you can stop watching this video. What else can I say? Or you can get into a personal session with me, a customized session with me. You can check out the details in the description box and then write to me once you're sure. Please do not share Twin Flame Journey in advance with me because we are going to be using step-by-step -step protocol, procedure, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's just pick up the cards. Hmm. So in front of you, I'll pick up the cards as always. One, two, what a progression. Three, four, five. Oh my God, Hierophant is here again because I think it's a bit similar. The question has some closeness to the last session I just did <clears throat> uh, where I think the audio problem happened. Now, what was the question that why are they ignoring you? Now, you may not believe what Taro has to say, but Taro is saying because you have everything. Because you have everything. Can you believe it? It's so hard for you to believe it, right? That someone would leave you because you're, you got everything and you're better than them maybe. You got loyal, wise counsel. You got spirit guides over there. There are two white dogs being shown to me. There is love. You know, there is some kind of very nice love. There is a lot of money. Everything. You got everything. So you must be like, really? I don't see it. But you don't see it, but others can see it. And I was told this thing by another wise person once upon a time, when I was asking the same question, if I'm so nice, why can't I get the same person? Why can't I get the person I want? If I'm so nice, why can't I get this? Or why can't I get that? Like, I had this question. So I was told that you are so nice, but you're asking for something which doesn't even match up to your vibe, doesn't even match up to your energy. You are asking for something which does not suit you, in simple words. So how can you get it? How can you get it? You need to be in the same structure, you know. The next thing I'm being shown is death. For new beginnings, they are ignoring you. So that you, your, this self of you, you know, this self who is so affected by other people, so affected by other people ignoring you, treating you badly, not liking you, not giving you validation or approval or whatever, you are so stuck with that person. Now, I know it's not easy to do it because all the therapy we do, all the inner work we do is literally for this only so that you are able to be reborn and go back to your purity, your pure essence, your innocence. So for that, this programmed version of you has to die who is so powerful, sitting on a white horse, death. So many people are dead, do you see? See, every card, this is the thing about tarot, every card is different in every situation, in every context. You can't get this, the same answer from, this, from similar cards in everything. In this situation, we have changed the question slightly. Instead of saying, why are they treating you this way or that way? What is the whole dynamic or the reason or what is the story behind it? Why is meant to happen? We are simply asking, why are they ignoring you? Why are they not talking to you properly? And the first card says, because you are really good. You are good. Maybe you don't know that. And because of this, you don't know that. Because of this strong ego, self. 
it has to go ego always doesn't mean that you are very arrogant and you are this and that ego is also the self the person that you have been created by the narcissist who is always a people pleaser who does not want to believe in god's powers who is constantly working a lot doing a lot you know just to uh, get people to like them just to get people to love them just to get people to pay attention to them so that side that self of you has to die you know then we have the page of swords so we have literally five answers for this question because of the nature of the question universe has given me five cards five reasons why people are ignoring you so this can actually be a stand alone video also you know i can actually edit it out and make a special video that why your twin flame is ignoring you five reasons why your twin flame is ignoring you so the first reason is because you're good second reason is because you need to uh, you know regenerate yourself you need to get into a rebirth process you need to be born again and you need to be like you need to become a person who's like proper fresh you know no shards nothing of that old self of yours has to be there the third reason that they have given to me page of swords is trying to tell us all that you need to be aggressive you need to be challenging person you need to be intelligent and you need to be vigilant now some of you might say hey i'm already intelligent and i'm very very smart what are you saying so then in that case you need to be more intelligent more vigilant you need to be more aggressive in your approach in your life you can't be the same submissive person you are not here to be submissive you are not here to fit in you are here to stand out that's third reason another reason is very nice reason empress so you need to bring out your creativity in spirituality also it's very important to have an alert active and aware mind because if you are a person who has a ego driven mind it means you're not even the controller of your mind you're not the ruler of your mind your ego is ruling you so for that reason you need to have this page of sword energy because page of sword is the page is very much uh, uh you know like um, smart person they can catch on to things they are always alert you know with their sword and in that protective gear so you are protecting yourself because you don't want the ego to control you again ego can do that once you kill the ego it can come again so you need to literally kill it forever and for that you need to practice mental awareness awareness of your mind mindfulness whatever you want to call it so that you can later on also get higher higher powers and higher lessons you can learn like i said lucid dreaming or yoga or ascension or you need to get out of the food addiction you need to study food science you can study vedas and upanishads and puranas and there is a huge area of work that we do as i said the more therapies you do the more you are clear there is so much to study you know a lot of content a uh, lot of studies happen later on and that makes you like this kick ass person this bad ass person so that next time you fall into a relationship or the previous person comes back to you the same drama doesn't happen again you have to be very careful and very vigilant you have to be so aware all the time like lakshman lakshman did not sleep for 14 years when he was in the exile phase with ram and sita he didn't sleep for 14 years that's like next level of tapasya next level of scientific advancement like you can control your sleep for 14 years not be tired not be cranky not be like in any negative zone and be very much like uh, smart and be very much like amazing at the same time physically mentally emotionally lakshman was strongest and actually lakshman also comes from the animal domain because he is sheshnag he is the animal companion of vishnu and i've already told you and this is a deep this is like an open secret but the thing is till the time you don't touch that frequency that vibration even if the secret is open in front of you you will not be able to catch it but my job is to give you that secret so that anyone who can catch it you cannot ascend to divinity till the time you don't have animal companions in your life there it is i am giving it out to you now you can do whatever you want to do with it you will not see vishnu with lakshmi all the time but you will always see vishnu with sheshnag always so when they came to planet earth in the human form vishnu was sri ram and lakshman 
Shesh Nag became his brother, step brother, but his brother who stayed with him all the time throughout his life till the end of his life. In fact, when Lakshman passed over, he didn't even have to die like other people. With his body, he went to Vaikunt. With his body. That is Lakshman for you guys. So that, I mean, of course, we can't be Lakshman. Although I would really wish for that to not sleep at all. <laughs> Keep doing things, be energized. Lakshman Ji's character is my favorite character of Ramayan. And I feel that he's the best character. And also because he has that anger factor in him, you know, like he doesn't mince his words. For a twin flame, it's very important. And I'm get getting goosebumps right now, guys. I don't know if you can see it also. <sighs> really, I'm getting so many goosebumps. Because twin flames are supposed to be kick-ass, badass, kick-ass. They don't mince their words. And they're never scared. Like Lakshman was never scared of what's going to happen. He would just say things. And Ram is closest to Lakshman. Whether in the Vaikunt as Sheshnag, you will not see Vishnu sleeping on a bed. Vishnu sleeps on the Shaya, the bed that Sheshnag creates. He creates his throne. He creates his bed. He creates... Literally, he... How do I say this? This is so emotional for me to even say it. Because that type of love is impossible to achieve. So I feel that Ram also loves Lakshman so much. He is fearless. He is very duty bound. And he is in total surrender all the time. Constant surrender all the time. Ramayan, you cannot say really who is the best character. Because then there is Hanuman also. Hanumanji is also one character I really love. He is so amazing. So, 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 so amazing. And all of them go through a journey with Sri Ram, you know, and all of them ascend in that journey. All of them learn so much. Hanuman is half animal and half divine being. So he's like a mutation. Wow. You can't, you can't ascend. You can't be a divine being till the time you don't connect with these beings. These downloads are genuine downloads that I get from time to time. So grateful to universe. Yes, I have also like a lot of you complained why I'm born here. Why this template? Why that? situation why this abuse i had to go through but now when i look back i think it's perfect it could not have been more perfect than this just by looking at the empress you know the fourth reason is that you need to bring out your creativity you need to bring out your ideas and even though page of swords is a masculine character over here and empress is a feminine character over here and all the characters that I'm looking at, all of them are like that only. Combination of feminine and masculine, which is what Twin Flame is. So you need to be alert and vigilant. But at the same time, you need to be creative. You need to be relaxed. You need to be chilled out. Being alert does not mean you have to be aggressive. You know, but why they said aggressive is because with some people, you have to be aggressive. They, they are just going to get worse and worse and worse if you don't show them the boundaries so aggression here doesn't mean anything else but boundaries so an empress surely does have a lot of boundaries and she's very independent she's a diva so you need to be a diva you know and fifth we've already discussed this card in detail so that you surrender to the master you awaken the wise counsel within you first you have to look for the wise counsel and if you're very lucky you have a lot of grace which I think twin flames have. The only thing is they realize it after going through a certain amount of misery, pain, suffering, which is very important for your growth. Okay, so these are the five reasons why they are ignoring you, not talking to you. And I think they are all brilliant reasons. Okay, so yeah, this is where I will close this session. Thank you so much for being here with me. One love and peace out.